without further ado, further ado, welcome to this uh, heck of a first ever live stream to um, unbox some of the stuff that you guys have sent me, my family. I love you all. And with some surprises as well. I'm going to move this one because um, I'm going to, I muted it anyways, so... So I'm seeing a bunch of familiar faces. <laughs> What's up, everyone? I see you in chat. Uh, finally. Okay, let's go. Um, I was dying about a second ago because just... Uh, oh, and I'm going to... This is ridiculous. I'm in the solarium right now, and I have all the windows open, and there's, like, huge amounts of uh, wind right now. And it's insane. <laughs> the Luca fur that is just flying all around. I think I'm going to have... A heck of a sneezing fit later on. Oh my god. So today, in today's menu, we have the not-so-pinkity-drinkity that, um, you know, it's kind of meh. It's not as good as the pinkity-drinkity. It's kind of missing the pinkity in it. And secondly, <clears throat> it's cat snow. I see it. That's nasty. But yeah, that's what it is. I got <clears throat> the manzanita sol from directly from Mexico City. Me and my partner went and we got this and I, I brought it back. We brought it back. Actually, she brought it back. Thank you so much. And um, it, it's really reminiscent of my childhood because what it is, excuse me, hold on. What it is, it, it's um, essentially apple cider soda. Isn't it a godsend? I see you guys in, in chat. Yeah, it really is. It's like apple cider or apple juice, just fizzy. So you can't really go. You know what? As a matter of fact, I'm going to... I feel like I should get some ice with this. Should I go? Okay, we have to enjoy this. We, have, we finally got it right. We are finally doing this. So we need to do this right. We have to get the right vibe. I will be right back. I'm going to get some ice and I'm going to get a glass. got the ice okay yes we're back all right let's do this right oh my god okay i don't care i'm drinking this manzanita sol i feel kind of bad maybe i should wait for my partner all right all right Should I wait or should I do it? Should I do the pinkity drinkity? Not so pinkity drinkity. <laughs> I got the ice drink. All right. You know what? It's, let's try... Uh, Temptation. You know what? I'm going to be a good person and I'm going to wait because it was both of our endeavor to bring this soda pop back into Canadian soil. So, P. 
peach. I'm sorry. Sorry, guys, but I think it's going to be peach pinkity drinkity this time. Let's see. All right. Let's get her done. R.I.P. to your uh, eardrums. Let's do this, though. Mm -hmm. All right. Cheers, everybody. Okay, let's start out with lovely <laughs> uh, there's these ones that I got for my birthday I don't know if anybody recognizes it and then there's this one I don't know if anybody recognizes it yeah I apologize. You know what? You're right. It's very, very bad quality. <laughs> I apologize. Can we start again? Uh, I hope you all couldn't see that. I hope the glare was enough that, like, y'all. Okay. I am messing it up. Okay. I will try that again. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I, um, ah, oh God. <sighs> All right. Off to a great start, everybody. Yeah. All right. Okay. Okay. Let's, let's get her done. We'll, we'll start off with, um, um, I guess the most important ones to me. All right. We'll start off with these two over here without doxing anybody. I'm sorry. All right. This is so exciting. By the way, thank you so much. It was just my birthday. Um, uh, hopefully the glare. And I am actually really happy this happened with uh, this awful camera that I have on my laptop because I'm really considering upgrading my camera. So <laughs> if I had, I would have been pretty bad. I, uh, okay. Well, we're getting the mistakes out of the way. This is never going to happen again. Okay, here we go. Thank you so much, everybody, for sending stuff. Um, it was just my birthday, and uh, this is part of part of that. So, let's 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 get started. First one up is uh, from somebody in chat, one of one of my mods, Clo. Oh my God! Thank you so much, Clo. <laughs> this is so great. Okay, okay. Uh, <clears throat> Thank you so much, Clo. Honestly, okay. I, I, I don't know. Let's do this. Should I? Which one should I do first? Because since you're here and I, um, you know, I, uh, you know, I have this opportunity to chat with you. Which one which should I open first? Okay. Let's see the context. Um,. Which one? This one will give context? Okay. Let's do this one. All right. All right. All right. Let's do it. And uh, in advance, I have to say uh, I apologize for my dyslexia. My, I have really bad dyslexia. Like really, really bad. I, and I'm, I guess, you know, my partner... Also says I'm really self-deprecating about it, but um, a lot of people suffer with dyslexia. Um, obviously, myself included, it's just really hard for me that I'm an actor too because I get the scripts and I have to read a lot and um, all that sort of fun stuff. So, okay. Oh, my God, Chloe. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay. we go Clo thank you okay let us let us see what Clo has sent me 
I will start with the one with my name. My real name. It says, may I read it out loud, Chloe? All right, we're going for it. Feliz cumpleaños. But it's in... Okay. Feliz cumpleaños! Man, what a weird few months it's been, huh? Been pretty cool, though. Thought I'd, s I'd send over a couple of things as a late birthday present, but also just to say hi. It's been cool getting to make so many friends from this game and your streams. Yeah, no kidding. All you guys have been amazing. Been a really, really, really awesome bunch of people. Um, uh, some friends from this game and your streams. Even some local friends. Yeah. You and Kendall got together recently. That was really cool. I saw your story. That was awesome. Got some milkshakes. Okay. I'm going to have to try those um, sometime. And uh, that... There was a sausage roll from this place that Kendall and you were mentioning. Uh, I forget. Greg's! Greg's, that's it! Y'all have to show me that place, because it looks like a better version of Tim Hortons, I think, than here. And, uh, you know, Tim Hortons is kind of is a thing over here, so um, I can't wait. Y'all have to show me. Y'all have to, like, show me all the good spots when I'm over there. It says, I'm the worst at actually saying nice things. But I'll try my best. You and me both, Chloe. Luis's performance. <laughs> this is for YouTube. I'm going to bleep it out. But for you, it's fucking stellar. As uh, an actor, I always respect someone doing a damn good job. Thank you, Chloe. And that's what you did. Always inspiring to see something like, like that and hope that one day I can do some mocap work. I'm sure you could, Chloe. It's just, uh, honestly, it's a hell of a ride. <laughs> it has been. So I hope you do. I hope everybody gets to try it because it's incredible. It's the best thing I think that's ever happened to me. It says, thanks. As always, for dealing with my antics when you're streaming, uh, I can't promise that I'll stop. Hey, keep things interesting. I like it. Um, it says, and also, thanks for listening to me talk about Persephone, per Persephone the mythology, Greek mythology. Yeah, that was really cool. I'm really, I'm a history, huge history buff. And all that stuff, it says. So... Honestly, you can talk my ear off about about mythology and all, all that. I'm really big into uh, history. and It says, it's always really cool discussing things like that. So I'm glad I could give, give you some, some insight. I've actually added some vague, vaguely Greek mythology. It says related. Okay, vaguely Greek, Greek mythology related. I get it, I get it. It's, hold on, don't go away, chat. It says related. It's a postcard from the immersive theater show I mentioned. Oh, no way, dude. The, the Burnt City. <laughs> wow. It's set in a blade... Blade Runner-esque, that's what it says. Sorry, my dyslexia. Version of Troy. I like that. Okay, cool. With, with various posters plastered across alleyway walls, advertising various fictional shows, events, etc. This one is a reference to the Geranos. Geranos. Uh, a dance that... Theseus performed after rescuing the, uh, those from the labyrinth. Oh, my God. Okay, so this is the, the Odyssey. The Odyssey. If you haven't read The Odyssey or uh, seen it, go watch it. Actually, Oh, Brother, Where Art Thou is based 
that movie with uh, John Goodman and uh, what's his name? Um, oh, Ocean's Ocean's guy. Um, it's really good. Um, that's so cool. Uh, a dance that Theseus performed after rescuing those from the labyrinth. Okay, so this is talking about the Minotaur, the Minotaur in the in the um, labyrinth. The labyrinth itself is re referenced all over Troy in the show, and this this poster is just one tiny detail most people miss. He says, uh, look, look after it. The show is ending soon, and this is about to be a rare postcard, okay? All right, I, I will definitely frame that. It says, the other, oh, my God, okay, so that's what this is. I thought it was, oh, my God, I can't wait to see it. Okay, okay, should I, okay, I'll do that one, and then I'll read the other thing, the, the, the last one. Oh, my goodness. Oh my goodness, this is so cool. Wow. So this is a postcard of the show or the dance that Theseus did. Wow, look at this. Wow. I can see what you were saying about um, Blade Runner-esque. I see this weird uh, writing on the bottom as well. Wow, thank you so much, Chloe. I'm going to have to frame this. You know that, right? God dang. This is awesome. Then look at... With the beautiful floral pattern in the... And the card, this is amazing. Wow. I'm going to have to put this right. Let's see, how can I have it up? <sighs> wow. Right here. All right. Wow. <laughs> starting off. Starting off really strong. That was really cool. Um... Yeah, you were telling me about um, the show, and uh, and now to see it is really uh, thank you. That that that's really means a lot. It says here, oh, the other gift is a pyramid of so sodalite, sodalite. I'm a fairly spiritual person. So, as am I. So, I thought I'd give you a crystal that's great for, for actors. No way. It's great for public speaking, communication, as well as for creativity. Either way, whether you are into crystals or not, I hope this pointy little friend will look out for you. That is so <laughs> freaking cool. Okay. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to open it up and then I'm going to read the last part, the very last part as a as a cap. All right, here goes. By the way, I am I am into uh, you know, spirituality, the crystals, the you know, her vibration. Here goes. Wow. In my favorite color, too. Okay, so it came in this little pouch with uh, with stars on it. I, I'm loving this. Hold on. Would you look at that? I'm going to hold it in my right hand here so you all can see it. Look at that. Sorry. On 
honestly. Look at that glare. Honestly, it does not do it justice. So look out for the YouTube video. Hold on, I'm going to show this to the camera that's going to be the YouTube camera. Okay, one sec, just so that you guys can see it. I must say, for a friend across the pond that I have never met face to face yet, you n nailed it. You hit it right, right on the head. And I want to thank you so much. Um, it's beautiful, it's amazing. I do believe in that stuff, and um, I've been going through a little bit of a dry spell. I think it's mostly because of the uh, the strike, the actor strike, and the the writer strike that now Actra has joined. But um, I hope that it 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 helps. I'm gonna be also using it with my you know my good vibrations, you know, trying to uh, move forward. And uh, thank you so much, Chloe. Cheers. That is incredible. Y'all are amazing. Starting off, you know, now it's getting, it's getting, it's getting good. We started off a little bit rough with the technical issues, but it's starting to turn. It's starting to turn. All right, I am definitely going to be framing that. That is an amazing piece of art right there. Now for the next one. Hopefully, uh, we'll see. I, I, I don't want to dox anyone, so I'm not gonna. I'm gonna be really gentle with this. And oh boy. All right. I'm shaking. I'm like handling this knife and I've never been so nervous. <laughs> Look, I'm literally shaking. <laughs> wow. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. Here we go. <sighs> Thank you guys. Um, don't go away. Come on, chat. Okay, okay. Whew. It's handwritten. Y'all know what that means. That, ladies and gentlemen, is from the bottom of the heart. Put this right here. <clears throat> Now, if you recognize this, I, uh, I would like to know if I am able to read it. Alita, is that? Can I read it out loud? Okay. <sighs> All right, here we go. It says, excuse. Again, please bear with me my uh, dyslexia. All right. I'm going to try to take it slow. It says, hi, Andre. I hope that this letter 
finds you well. I am writing to show my appreciation and tell you how much I loved your performance in the new Resident Evil 4 remake. There's no doubt in my mind that you get this a lot from many other fans. But, I mean, it, I, I, mean it, I mean it wholeheartedly. You brought something to Luis that just made him really stand out in this new version of the, of the game. I hope you gain many opportunities from this, as you deserve it, I'm sure. Writing a fan letter is a new experience for me. Haha. Ha. Well, ha, ha. It's, it's a new experience for me too, to read it. Yes, it's new for both of us. Wow. Thank you so much. Uh, here goes. I don't want to come off as being too forward or anything. I would like to ask something of you, though. If it's not too much trouble, of course. If you feel inclined and if you have time, a response from you would mean everything to me. Although, as a fan, I understand that those who gain a large am amount of fame and no notoriety have boundaries set in place for a reason. I do respect those boundaries. So, if... Responding is something you do not feel comfortable with doing. Don't worry. I'm still very happy to be writing you this letter in hopes that you'll, f you'll read it. <laughs> so, that, so that being out of the way, I have some questions. Does this count as a response? We're both here. <laughs> We're both doing this. <laughs> Don't cry, Alita. Uh... Don't cry. I see you in the chat. Well, you know what? This is incredible. This is amazing. Thank you so much, Alita. And this will forever live on here on Twitch and soon to be on YouTube. Thank you so much. Y you are amazing for writing this. Um, and uh, no, I, I would like to uh, do this with as many as... as um, of fans as possible, you know. Um, you are taking the time to write this. So, you know, we are no different in the way that we're just two human beings. And your time is important, just like mine. So you taking the time to write this and me not taking the time to read it would be, I think, pretty criminal of me <laughs> because I am no better than any of you and um, your time means just as much as mine. So I want to thank you for handwriting this. It's honestly incredible. It's, it means a lot. And um, And yeah. Yeah, I just wanted to say uh, from the bottom of my heart, I do really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, and we got a couple of questions. All right. It says, how were you able to get the opportunity to work for Capcom on the remake? And what was your experience like during filming? All right. Well, I got this opportunity like any other audition. It was my agent that actually uh, sent me the audition. I, was, um, I wasn't I was home at the time, so I was really close to um, skipping it. Except this audition in particular came with an NDA, and not many auditions come with NDAs. Um, I told my agent, you know what, I'm all the way in Edmonton, I need to make the drive back to BC to be able to do this uh, audition, uh, I'm going to be feeling like crap, so let's skip this one, and she tells me, you know what, hold on, 
not all like only kind of important auditions come with an NDA. Why don't you try to just do this one if um, when you can? I think she might have even asked for an extension or something like that because I wasn't I wasn't around. I didn't have my equipment, and um, I got back home and I did it. And lo and behold, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I uh, I ended up getting it, but it wasn't the audition for Luis that um, I got. I got the audition for um, Cop B or Cop A. One of the f I can't I can't talk too much about directly about the 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 story because I can't give any spoilers. But one of the two cops. <laughs> And then I got the audition for um, a bunch of other ones. I think I did Mendes. And then I did, I don't know if I did Sadler. I might have done Sadler as well. And then I landed on Luis. So that's how it happened. Yeah, just like any other one. And uh, I don't know how my agent did it or how she has access to motion capture Um um, you know, uh, auditions and all that jazz, but she did, and, she, you know, I, she gave me this one, and, oh, here we are. <laughs> okay, next question is, I've seen at least one other person express how they would love to col collaborate with you on uh, a project in the future. I must admit, I feel the same. You're so talented, and it would be an honor. I am very curious, though. I have a band called Twilight November, and so I'm wondering if you are musically inclined in any way, and if you would want to collaborate with us on a song or performance one day. Sorry, I realize that's probably a strange thing to to ask haha -ha. yes yes I would I love to sing I sing a lot and I also I play the drums I I love drumming um, so yeah yeah hopefully one day we get to uh to sing or, uh, or play something um, Again, I am by no means, by no means a professional. Uh, I just did a couple lessons here and there. And um, so don't expect much. It'd just be a jam sesh. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not the biggest performer <laughs> in that way per se. I'm, you know, my cousin though, she, she is, she is the performer. She's a singer. Idana. Edith, Idana, she is, uh, yeah, she, you might, I don't know, you might find her in my, uh, on my Instagram, um, but I would be more than willing to, uh, jam out with, with you and, and, you know, see, see what comes from that, what, uh, you know, what music we can make, yeah, that's a cool question, though, I did not expect that, <laughs> You're asking me to play a song with you. That's really cool. I, I love it. I love it. I love it. It says, If you had the opportunity to star in other major um, produc productions, what would they be and why? Oh, boy. Star Wars. Because I'm a huge nerd for Star Wars. Um, I won't say too much. I won't try to go into the politics of um, older movies, newer movies, and uh, the difference and all that. But um, I guess it made my childhood, so that's probably one that I would love to like be involved in. Um, other games, I guess... Um, I don't know. I would say that uh, there's a lot of a lot of games and a lot of movies out there that I would absolutely just love to be a part of. 
uh, I wouldn't be able to like just pick one or uh, or a couple. Um, I liked, I mean, if if I liked Far Cry, uh, I played that for a while. Assassin's Creed as well, a couple of other ones. Um, but if I got to do what Giancarlo Esposito did in Far Cry, in this last Far Cry that came out, uh, <laughs> I think I would say that I've made it. You know, <laughs> uh, I really look uh, look up to that to that man and um, his work. He's got very this is very poised. You know, it's very regal aura to him, and I I think I think he's awesome. From you know when I saw him in a in um breaking bad um he was awesome so yeah something like that i guess you know something where i get to uh really show that like poised power you know that uh Giancarlo Esposito played mm. i would definitely love that but <laughs> but we'll see we'll see hopefully uh it's in my stars Let's see. Next question. Um, will you be attending any sort of cons or events in the near future? I want to. I will see you in Sac Anime, though. That's for sure. That's for true. Um, so look out for me there. Uh, hopefully, I can I can meet you in person there. Um, other than that, I haven't heard of anything. Um, you know any solid invites from any other ones just yet but it is a cool idea for um potential future videos as well where i uh, i can dress up or cosplay as somebody or s some other resident evil character maybe the dr salvador again and then uh ask all you guys questions and trying to go incognito again we'll see how it goes i hope I hope I'm able to do that. Okay. All right. And it says, warmly, Alita. Darlene. P.S. Sorry, rip R.I.P. to your uh, ears. P.S. If there's a chance you feel like responding, but prefer not to um, handwrite, as I as I have, LOL. Here is my email. It sends my email. Well. I don't know. I think uh, live is uh, a little bit better than just an email, and it's going to be here forever. So thank you so much, Alita. Darlene, I will also be framing this. Thank you so much. I will have this, and I'll put this right here. This is amazing. Thank you so much, honestly. This means a lot. This means a lot. Uh, okay, now a little intermission just to talk about my snacks today. I have tostitos, salsa verde, and I have these real Mexican peanuts. They're called cantinero. Cacahuates botaneros. If you've ever tried these and you survived, I would like to shake your hand. because they are very spicy. <laughs> but if you hang out with me, you will quickly realize that I love spicy, that I'm a huge um, masochist when it comes to spicy. Mm -mm -mm. Wow. All right. Yummy. What do we got next? Should we do a box? 
You know, life's love spicy food too. Yep. I love spicy food. Let's do this one. This one, actually, comes from uh, also somebody very special. One second. Um, so this one was sent to me. by a friend Mark my friend Mark now he's been waiting for this for a while and so have I to be honest although we did Raccoon City Surplus that might actually um, help a little bit Look them up. That's their handle on Instagram. They are incredible. So we're on to the direct RE-related surprise. A little surprise for all of you. All right, and Mark, if you are watching, thank you very much, my friend. Thank you. Thank you very much, mi amigo. All right. We all have to meet up for lunch one day, says Alita. I think so. I think so. Okay, here we go. Oh, boy. This is a big one. Please, Louise. Okay, there's one side. Okay, there is El Other Sido. Now for the middle. Oh boy. Okay, here we go. Here we are. Ladies and gentlemen, can I get a drum roll, please? Okay, this is gonna be hard. <laughs> okay, we gotta, we can get through this. We can do this. You and me. Okay, here we go. We're going to take it out in pieces. Here's one. I'm gonna set it down over here. There's a lot of packing foam. He did a really good job in packing this. Just so that it would last the long trek from wherever because I will not dox this time. Wow, okay, this is very big. This is very big. I was not expecting that. <clears throat> I will set this down over here. Okay. Okay. another piece this is so exciting <laughs> i can't keep on doing the the, the luis voice because i'm too excited and here is the other piece and i believe that is it i don't want to uh go digging any further because it's just packing peanuts and it's gonna be messy so i'm going to move these i'm gonna put these down over here and I'm going to bring one, two, three, three and four items right here. Let us start with this.
So that if you could see that, that says Luis Serra. Mi nombre. Did you see it up there, YouTube? It says Luis Serra. <laughs> oh boy. Jeez Louise. Sarah. Jeez Louise Sarah. Jeez Louise Sarah. And then I I actually asked and I uh, I was going to uh pay him. But I asked him to make one for my friend. My very good friend. Veronica. Veronica Yenesa. Ronnie. Ronnie underscore six, who I became good friends uh, after the release because she actually voiced Ashley Graham in Espanol, in Castellano, no other, in real Spanish from Spain. She is amazing, talented actor. And um, I'm going to move that out of the way. And I asked Mark to make one. And he kindly just said, don't even mention it. Already done. And my friend, <laughs> you are amazing. And I'm going to have to stop talking like this because I'm getting a little distracted. But you're amazing. Thank you so much for obliging. Here is... Oh boy. Oh boy. Here is the one for Ronnie. Go check her out, please. I will put Oh, I will put it right here. Here is her Twitch. Tell her I say hi. And her Instagram is also that. And I believe her... I believe her uh, Twitter, too. Very talented. Very, very fun. Very awesome. She, she does a lot of the Twitch. So, yeah. All right. Here is Senorita Ashley Graham in Espanol. Mm. Okay. Wow, look at this. Holy cow. This is so cool. Whoa! Wow! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Wow! Okay, here it is. Oh my god. I am so scared. I am so scared. I am so scared because this is. Oh, I'm shaking. The beautiful Ashley, Senorita Ashley. Hmm, I see. You found your missing Senorita. That is so cool. <laughs> that is amazing. Holy cow. It even has the, the, the pin and everything. Okay, I'm going to have to show the YouTube camera. Hold on. Can, oh, wait, can I do this? No, I can't. I cannot zoom. I will be right back. Y'all have to see this. gentlemen that is amazing wow look at that mark from raccoon city surplus you do incredible work my friend all right time to bring this back okay So, as, as I said earlier, this is going to my good friend in Spain. Ronnie. Oh, my God. I don't even want to do it too hard because, like, I don't want to twist it in too hard. Because I want her 
her to do that when uh, she gets it. Mine, in the other hand, is this one. <laughs> oh, no, this is Ashley Graham's. Oopsie daisy. Well, you see, I'm glad I didn't do it. Okay. There is one, and here for the piece de resistance. All right, here we go. I'm sweating a little bit. That sun is really not letting up. All right, here comes the other one. Oh, oh, I can see him. Look at this little... Beautiful man. This is amazing, ladies and gentlemen. His red nine is a little bit just bent. I'm going to have to like work, work it a little bit later. But look at that. It looks amazing. Look at the detail. It is incredible. There he is, ladies and gentlemen. There is El Luis, El Don, Don Quixote, El Señor Luis Serra. Okay, and I'm going to show the camera for YouTube. so much you really have done yourself this is amazing this is this is freaking incredible holy cow look at that this is great amazing 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 work this is incredible all right i'm gonna prop i'm gonna prop my uh Little mini me over here. Mm. Si, sí, muy bonito. Ah, yes, like this. Little mini me. Mm, look at that. <laughs> that is amazing. That is amazing, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. On to uh, the next one. Hold on. seeing like this mad glare so I'm hoping I can do something about it but I don't know if I can hopefully that yeah that is a little bit better isn't it okay Hopefully that gets rid of the glare a little bit. Whew. All right. All right. What's next? Uh, all right. I think let's do my friend Ko, Kotaro. He sent me something from Japan. He's my good friend. Muy, muy buen amigo. And he sent me this. <laughs> this huge thing over here. Okay. I'm going to have to transfer everything I have over here on this side to the other side. Okay. Okay. 
How am I going to do this? Okay, Luisito, move. Time to move. Ta-da! Okay. Sorry, Ronnie. You're gonna have to move. Luisito, you're gonna have to move. All right. And as you can see, this is a big one. It's muy, muy grande. Mm, yes. So here, here we go. Without doxing, my good friend. Because now there is no glare. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this information that has potentially sensitive um, sensitive numbers and uh, names and ordeals. All right. Woo! I don't know what this is, but I'm taking it off. All right. Here we go. And this one, too. All right. That's enough. Let's go. I have not opened this one yet, so I have no idea what he sent. Now, I know he went to the Capcom store for, f for a little bit, so I don't know if it's from there or something else. He mentioned something about a snack. I don't know. I love snacks, so I'm always hyped to try something new from uh, different places in the earth. Hey, we can do that. We, we, should, uh, we should make that a thing. I'll try all the different snacks y'all send me. Your favorite snacks from your, uh, your part of town. Your part of this uh, great blue rock we call our home. All right. You still with me, people? Let's do this. Let us do this. Oh my god, I'm so glad I didn't dig further. Holy cow, that would have been really bad. Whoa, I'm shaking again. I'm starting to shake. I'm starting to get the shakes, everybody. Gotta drink some water. All right, give me one sec. My other camera just turned off. All right, here it is. I'm bringing the other camera in. Just so that y'all can see what I'm trying to do. All right. 
I drop my key. All right, so to see this in uh, this camera's angle, um, we're gonna have to wait for for the YouTube video. So here it is. All right, so we got the good old RE. Holy moly, dude, this is huge. Go, Kotaro, what are you doing, man? This is huge, this is amazing. Thank you so much, brother. Holy cow. Okay, so we got the RE backpack. RE4, RE4 backpack. This is incredible. This is like official from the actual Capcom store. Biohazard RE4, it says on the tags. All right, this is, this is, this is a lot. So I'm going to have to rethink this. How am I going to do this? All right. Oh, my God. It's so heavy. All right. I'm going to move this over here, and then I'm going to splay it out. I'm going to splay it out. Oh, God. Okay. I'm going to splay it out on, uh, on the table here. So we got the RE backpack. Good to go. That is amazing. Okay, then we got this lemon water thing that he used to put as a spacer. Yeah, thank you, Co. Holy moly. What the heck? What is this, dude? What? All right, here, here. Just got a bunch of this. <laughs> just a bunch of ramen dude but a whole bunch of different types okay okay let's let's get this is for real all right let me put this camera back And I put you guys in this um, awkward direction so that um, you can see all of this stuff. All right. All right, here we go. So, we got one chili tomato. Two chili tomato. Oh, Ko, what are you doing to me? Did you think that this was going to be like, this wasn't going to be live? What are you, <laughs> buddy, what is this, bro? This is hilarious. I love this. Okay. All right. Another chili tomato. I did not tell him that I like chili tomato. I have never tried this. It must be pretty darn good for him to send so many. Another chili tomato, another chili tomato, another chili tomato, and another chili tomato. <laughs> what is this? Oh my God, dude. Jeez Louise. Okay, so a whole bunch of chili tomatoes, and then we start to get, I don't even know what type of flavor this is. It looks like it's a uh, shrimp. Shrimp something. It's um, shrimp something. <laughs> okay. All righty. So we got the shrimp. All right. Just give me one second.
right. <laughs> All right. Hopefully uh, you're still here with me. Um, here we go. We got a whole bunch of those, a whole bunch of the, oh, we got curry. Now, my partner also brought me a cup noodle curry, curry flavor. I love curry from Japan. Um, so yeah, let's see if we can build a, a huge cup noodle, um, you know, structure. We got curry, we got shrimp, we got tomato chili. Boy, honestly though, like he sent me a whole care package. Like I could survive on this for, for like days, for days and days and days. Oh my God. I see something cool too. Here. Check it out. It's an RE4 white hoodie. Look at that. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. That is so cool. That is so amazing. Thank you so much, Cole. Dude, you're freaking really outdoing yourself here, dude. Holy cow. He also, uh, here my camera's being wonky again. All right, he also got me some Chelsea. Yeah. Chelsea. I don't know what that is, but I I can't wait to try it. Okay, it's uh, it looks like it's hard candy in three flavors. There's chocolate, vanilla, and caramel. It looks like I can't read Japanese, but I assume that that's what it is. Here, you see the chocolate at the bottom, vanilla in the middle, and caramel at the top. It looks a little bit more goldeny. He got me two of those. So here's the other side and there it is. Chelsea, oh my God. Okay, um, we're still going. We are still cooking with peanut oil, everybody. Oh my goodness, no freaking way, dude. What is this, dude? Okay, I'm gonna have to destroy this cup noodle uh, thing because this is like a lot of stuff. Okay, I'm gonna just like put them back to the side over here because I don't want to drop them all because there's a lot of stuff to go through in here. Go! What is this? This is amazing. <laughs> this is so much stuff, bro. <laughs> okay, so we got this chips. We got some shrimp chips with a little bit of uh, limon, lemon. Yeah, I love them shrimp chips. I do, I actually really dig them. We got Three of those, just in case I was hungry. Um, <laughs> and we got like a thousand, a thousand literally of these things. Like there's these Pokemon, Pokemon uh, crackers. <laughs> <laughs> so cool. <laughs> Can y'all believe this? Hold on. Let me. Yo. Oh no. Oh God. Okay. I have, I have no idea, I have no idea what those are, but um, I can't wait to try them. <laughs> Has any, does anybody have any experience? Those are so good, are they? <laughs> I had never seen them in my life before. Okay, and there's literally like this much of it. There's like a lot of baggies in here. Like a whole, whole buttload of baggies in here. Co, thank you so much. Again, it's for my birthday. I couldn't uh, resist but send me this. Jeez, Louise. Okay, we're not done. We also got this squid snack 
Or no, it's not a squid. Is it a squid stack? What is this? What is this? Oh, it's a. This is what he was referring to the chemical snack. So I make tapiocas. You can make your own tapioca with this. Have you? Have y'all? Has anybody ever seen this before? Has anybody seen this before? This is puzzling. There's these instructions. This is, uh, yeah. <laughs> this is a lot. Okay, there's a couple of those. There is one of this. It looks like a sort of Dunkaroos with stars. And it's like, you create it and you, honestly, this, this deserves a whole other video. I'm going to try these out and I'm going to make another, another stream or another video just on these. Because there's a bunch there's a Mario one. Did we even gave him a Mario one, dude? I can make my own gummies with this. Yeah, where you been? Anybody ever had these before? <laughs> this is incredible. Yeah, so you apparently you can make your own um, your own gummies with this. Got a couple of those. I got what is this? Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not exactly sure what this is, but um, I am going to have to try all of these and uh, make a video out of that because there's just so much in here. More of those, and there's a fish one. I could eat. Oh, it's that it's that little game that you play where you try to catch the fish with like a paper paper uh, spoon. And if you catch it before the paper tears, it's yours, I guess. But it's in a snack form. Anybody ever had these before? <laughs> Why are these? There's the instructions. Incredible. Okay. So there's that bag. I also got... Another bag over here. Oh my gosh. What is this? What? There's so much stuff. Oh no. This is this is getting out of hand, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, this is this is what we got. Anybody know what this is? Hey Prince Revenant, how you doing? Yeah, we're we're doing an unboxing. A buddy uh, sent me a uh, birthday care package with a whole bunch of RE stuff, and I asked him, you know, just RE stuff, and he ended up sending me all these amazing snacks that I have never ever ever seen before, with very very strange instructions. He even told me, you know what? If you need help with uh, the instructions, let me know, because yeah. We got a whole bunch of snacks. Just doing an unboxing video today. No games. Uh, oh my goodness. Can you guys see this? Oh my. Okay. Got more. More Mar M More of the Mario ones. Oh, we got. What is this? Huh. Got some crackers. Hey, anybody ever try these ones? Check it out. I got I got snacks for days now. Like days and days and days, maybe a month. There's all these flavors. Um Yeah. This is really interesting. I wish I could read this. But there's a green one, there's a yellow one, there's a little pinky one. Oh my goodness, there's a one that's filled with something. Oh, dang, dude. And my chat just froze on my phone. I'm gonna have to redo that. 
Like y'all, y'all are still going, but uh, on my phone it kind of crapped out on me. Let's go to my chat. All right. Yeah, a lot of crazy stuff here. Okay, more stuff. More stuff to unpack here. Stay tuned for the YouTube video for the POV. Oh my gosh. Dude, this is so... What even is this? Okay, there's like this angry thing meditating in the front of it. What the heck is this? Is it spicy? Ko, are you trying to kill me? What is this? Anybody ever try this? Look at that angry looking thing right there, meditating. He looks like he'd be making that sound. What is this? Oh my God, you're right, it never ends. Anybody, anybody know what this is? Is it spicy, is it gonna kill me? I don't know if, if he's got malicious intent here. <laughs> this angry thing. <laughs> yeah, that's me too, no kidding. Oh my god, there's a whole bunch of them. Must be really tasty. You know what? Ugh. Okay, there's like this much of it. Must be really, really good. A lot. A lot. Okay, I'm putting it back. I'm putting this back. Then there, there is also this. Oh my god, no way. Okay, this is full of like actual Capcom. It says Capcom on it. It's a baggy fill. It's actually pretty heavy with merch here and and there's one that he didn't use and he just threw it in there of course i'm gonna keep that for memorabilia then he what is this dino check it out a little japanese uh little uh machine the dispenser uh you know machines that they're all over the place in japan uh, hopefully this January I get to go and I'll get to experience that myself. And finally, finally on this in this box, we have another Resident Evil 4 backpack, but this time in black. Check that out. Wow, okay. I'm gonna have to start putting stuff back. Just for now, because I, I'm still not done. I'm still, oh, there was another uh, cup noodle. What do you know? Okay, uh, how am I gonna do this? <laughs> okay, okay, here we go. I will start putting stuff back. Oh my goodness. Some shrimp chips. I do love me to shrimp chips. I'll be, I'll be honest. I do enjoy some shrimp chips. All right. Oh boy. Okay. This one in here as well. Shrimp chips. Take this out of here. No. All these curious little snacks. Wow. Okay. Bunch of stuff. All right. The hoodie. He Tetris the heck out of this. Like how? Like it's full. It's completely full right now, and I still need to put a backpack, a hoodie, and like a million cup noodles. How did you do that, Ko? You're a wizard, dude. You're a freaking packing genius. God dang. Okay, I'm gonna move this out of the way, and then I'm gonna get to the actual uh, RE merch. Okay. All right, I missed you. Okay. 
Here we are. <sighs> okay. About to do this unboxing. Unbagging. Okay. Hopefully I don't tear the bag up because it's official Capcom. I'm like, ah, like shaking a little bit. Okay, here we go. Oh my God. Don't, don't tear. Okay, here we go. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Starting off really strong. <laughs> he gave me like, he bought out. The stickers. <laughs> okay, he got like two Leons. One, two, three, four, five, four Ashleys. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven, Luis. Y'all seen this? Jeez, Luis. Sarah. Luis, Sarah. Yeah, that's right. Louise, che you know, geez, Louise, Sarah. Wow. Okay. I, I, I think I'm going to throw a couple in there with, um, with Ashley's uh, Spanish voice actor, um, Ronnie. I'm sure she'll enjoy a sticker there. And next we got... <laughs> This is so cool. <laughs> we got the red green herbs. Oh no, the the zipper ripped. The zip the yeah, the ziplock. Okay. We got a whole bunch of herbs, dude. How how did he cross with these, dude? These are powerful herbs, man. Look at this. We got the red and green herb. We got the red and green herb. Isn't that amazing? That is so cool. <laughs> okay. All right, all right, all right. That is really, really dope. Okay, so it looks like I got a whole bunch of stuff to try now. Uh, probably in a, in a separate video. And then we got Watch Your Head. Lady D. <laughs> this is so cool. We're just playing this part right now in uh, in RE8 Village in my streams, in my video game streams. So look out for that. But that's awesome, dude. And then here is Take Care of Falling Objects with the Liquors. Dude. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? All right, so here's the Lady D and the liquor. Take care of falling objects. That is so sick. Wow, Ko, you dude, you really outdid yourself. Thank you so much, my brother. And then, finally, he gave us three. Not one, not two, but three. Can y'all see what that is? Yep, that is the first aid spray in in breath mint form. What is this? All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna try this one. I'm gonna try this one because uh, I'm really curious. This is awesome. What is this? Okay, it's not it's not working. Is it empty? It might be empty, actually. Oh, it's empty! That's so cool! We can fill it up with whatever types of, like, nice juices we want. That is so cool. Oh, my God. I was about to go, like, ham. Ah! Just taking the first aid spray. That is so cool. Okay, so three of those ones. One's for essential oil, one's for, uh, you know, mint, and one's for uh, candy. You know, whatever you want. All right, how long have we been going at this for?
All right, so we're we're at one and a half hours. All right, I thought it was it was gonna be worse than that. So um, we're still okay, right? We're still good. Almost two hours. Okay. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. That's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff. Okay, I need to clean some of this stuff up because there's one last box that we have to open up. I'm going to be extra gentle with this. Actually, I'm going to put this back right in here for now because I don't want to scratch it or anything. Okay. All right. Put this in here. La, 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 la. La la la, la di da. Okay, there's that. Put these in here. And I'm gonna put this one in here for now. Alrighty. I am sweating. The, the sun is really beaming down on me from, from the yay word. Oh, all right. Carry on my There'll be peace when you are done. Lay your weary head to rest. Don't you cry no more. I have to be very gentle with this one. I will put, I will put her over there. Ah, Luisito, mini me. I like you. Mucho, mucho, very much. Oh my goodness, there's so much, so much stuff. Co, what have you done? Thank you. My friend Kotaro, everyone. I should have taken a picture. I'm gonna take a picture later, once we're done with all of his stuff out. Just so I'm gonna tag him on the, on the gram. Goodness gracious. You know what? Maybe I should take this off. Yeah, I don't need that. And I don't need that. That'll just cost, cause some more damage, and I don't want that. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Tale of the take. Tonight, in the red corner. Okay, that's enough of that. But we have one last thing to unbox today. And I am very excited. I am very, very excited for this one. I know what it is. I haven't opened it yet. But, but, I, uh, I'm very excited about it. And I think you guys should be too as well. All right. Um, here we go. Okay. How am I going to do these? So, this is a big one, uh, big unboxing. If you're reading the, the title, you already know what it is, but here we are. I'm also live streaming it. There you are. Say hi everyone to future YouTube family. Hi YouTube. 
All right. That probably gave you a little bit of vertigo, but here we go. This is some very special. Are you guys ready in chat? I think I maybe should uh, put this over here for right now. All right. All right, here we go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the last box, second to last box of the day. First, I guess I should open this one because I think I know what this is. And it's related to this, so just bear with me. Bear with me. Hopefully no one can see this. I have to scratch this off. Just in case. Can we get a drum roll, please? Brrr. Okay, I see what it is already. This is very interesting, very exciting. Oh my God. Did I get disconnected from chat again? All right, here we go. Okay, wow, we got a lot of stuff in here that's really, really cool. Ready? Okay, here we go, chat. Here we go, chat. There's my address in there, so I can't show that, but um, ready? One, two, and three. What is that? Wait, 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 what is this? What is this? Are y'all seeing this? Then we got bro broadheads? Why, why do I have broadheads here? Can you see them, YouTube? Okay, so we've got a bunch of those broadheads here. And a bunch of uh, pen, are the, they're not pens, right? Oh, uh, I don't think they're pens. Okay, I don't know. This, this looks kind of crazy. All right, I'm going to toss this out to the side. Here's for the big reveal. What else is in today's menu? You good, Luisito? All right, buddy. I think you always want to try this one. Uh, this is the first time I've ever seen this. So, uh... Yeah. Isn't this fun? All right. 
Enough distractions. Oh, sorry. All right, okay, that's good. That's good. Wow, it's a lot of stuff. A lot of uh, bags after bags after bags after bags. Okay, this is going to be a hell of a time to uh, unpack this. Oh, boy. Ah. Ah. I can't show that. All right, I can't show this because it's my address, but I'll put that over there. Oh my God. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Are you seeing what I'm seeing, YouTube? This is incredible. Okay. We got a one point sling, storm sling. So you can hang this on your person and be tactically prepared, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so we got that. I will, actually I'll put that right here. Then we got this thing, which I don't know what it is. We got, ooh, their patch, Tenda Canada, which is where I, uh, I bought this item from it's a really good I've done a lot of uh, shopping with them before so um, yeah I, I really like them okay here is the big reveal ladies and gentlemen ta-da okay we got the Resident Evil 4 crossbow or bolt thrower, better known. Let's get this bad boy open. Wow. Look at that, YouTube. Look at this. Okay. Please excuse the light. The lighting is not that good, but there it is. Let's see. I'm going to try to, like, hold it up and... Uh, show you guys so it comes in parts so I should have known let's see if we can crack it open unboxing of the bolt thrower ladies and gentlemen with Louis Sarah the actor of Resident Evil 4 remake Okay, we got the instructions. We clearly don't need that. I mean, come on, who even reads those? The other day, oh, we got more pens. Little cute, little uh, pokey pens. That's what we're gonna call them now. Wow, okay. There's a bunch of moving parts here. I'm a little intimidated now. I should have read the manual. Wow, this actually does look, this even looks like the, the bolt thrower, I guess. That is so crazy. All right, I kind of do need the like an instructional video or something. Cause dang, damn. There's some moving parts up in here. Oh, a lot of moving parts. Okay. OK, 
Okay, I'm gonna try to set it up. Just a little bit like it would look like, but I'm not gonna be able to set it up all right now. I guess I could try to take the time, but I don't know. I don't know, fam. Okay. Crazy. Okay, so it has this mechanism where you cock it with with the buttstock. Interesting. So it kind of looks like that. And then we got the buttstock back here. It's an AR style buttstock in this case. Which is kind of interesting because it doesn't need a buffer tube or anything. And then it comes with this uh, nifty little uh, foregrip. Huh. Ooh, look at that. Looks really nice already. All right. Wow. Wow. Wow, senores y senores. This is very, very cool. All right. I am going to try to set this up. Not sure if you guys want to uh, tag along with this, but... Uh... All right. Let's see what we got. This is called the AR6 Stinger. All right. So they actually even give you a little wrench to um, put put the buttstock on. That's interesting. That's really cute. All right. Tighten this up. Oh yeah, that does the trick. Cool. Sorry for uh, YouTube. All right, so we got that done. Whoa, halfway there. You got the string? All right. What else? How do we do this? All right, so we got this one. blue thing right over here. I'm going to put it in here. It's got some like Loctite on it. So I'm going to have to use this thing. It looks like. Okay, this is to uh, fix the actual bow part to this crossbow.
Now we're doing this on the fly, but you know, it's all right, right? So, so this once it's out a little bit. put the actual bow part in here after we have put that little screw with the blue die in there. And we're actually gonna put this little pad that they give you. One second, peep skis. You have to put one in the back and one in the front. And then I believe you tighten it up all the way. Um, So you just have to make sure that everything is lined up correctly before you tighten it all the way up. And then apparently, so we just need to make sure that everything is lined up correctly. There we go. Oh no, all right, um, there we go, got him. All right, so it looks like to be nice and lined up, aligned. put these little caps that hold the, the wire or the drawstring in place. Okay, hold on. So they go up like this on either side. And then we have this other string that actually helps us put the string on, <laughs> it's kind of interesting. So there's this, and then it goes back here. Hopefully I can get it all here, one hand. All right, so there's this string as well that kind of helps you put the other string or the actual string in, interestingly enough. Okay, and you can draw it back. Let's try that out. Wish me luck. Oh God, that is scary. All right, so, so that's that. And now what I have to do is I have to put the string, the drawstring. I don't know if it came with two. I think it came with just one drawstring. Sometimes it comes with two, with one uh, 60 pound, one 90 pound. I think this one is only 90 pounds. A little trick that uh, I see this gentleman doing is he puts the actual drawstring through the, the string that he uh, helped to pull back the, the bow with. So I'm gonna do the same here, putting it inside 
that little uh, opening in between. <laughs> it's pretty tricky, but I got it. And now from there, he detaches it. So Okay. Okay. So now that it is detached, I can actually let go All right, so now we got the real drawstring in here. All right, we're actually chugging along. There it is. All right. So making sure that I'm aligning this correctly because I don't want to mess around with that all that much, to be honest, just because so I think it's got 90 pounds of pull, so that's uh, no, that's a big number. All right, so we got that done. Now we're going to set up the top piece. All right. We got a couple of screws here um, and some washers that... Funny enough, I think I'm missing one. I hope it's hope it's not the case. All right. So I don't think that's the case. I think we're 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 okay actually. So time to put the back back part with a washer. I'm going to put it in to this part that locks into the body. Now, it's got a lot of travel, so I'm going to first twist it with my hand to get it all set up nice and, you know, snug. And then I'm going to go ahead and tighten it with the Allen wrench. I'm wondering if it would be a better idea okay all right now I'm gonna finish it off with the Allen wrench just snugly till I get the other side in there as well now for the other side, I'm gonna put two washers, so one on either side. Hold on, hold on. I'm running into a little bit of a kerfuffle here. I think I might have used a different, the wrong washer over here. One sec.
Let me see. Yeah, I used the wrong, wrong one. I'm glad I caught that. Okie dokie. Yeah, that fits way better. You kind of don't want to mess around when it comes to <laughs> to uh, things that launch projectiles at a very fast speed. Oh boy. Okay, I'm just gonna make sure it's snug. Then I'm gonna put the other one. And I think we're almost done. And then they give you this wrench to be able to tighten this with as well. So that's really brilliant. There we go. Make sure it's nice and, and tight. There we go. We don't want that moving around while we're firing this contraption, this device. Now I can go ahead and tighten the back as well. You never really wanna go super tight in one and then then do the other one. You kinda wanna like, like kind of ease into it, both of them. There's only one thing missing, which I am, uh, Oh, I'm a little sad about. Oh, I don't know. Wait, is it this? What is this? Okay, so I thought that you need, what is this? that you need a rod to be able to uh, use this. Oh no, okay. So, funny enough, you don't need a screw to uh, fit this foregrip in here, for, in here. You just need to screw this. Interesting, I have never seen that before. And there it is. Wow. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Now, they say that you shouldn't dry fire a bolt thrower, a crossbow. It's not the best thing for them, but um, as you can see, uh, there it is, all, all ready to go. And I even have a quick loader for it, which fits, I believe, six of the bolts. Um, in there so let's find out let's see how this works whoa that's the magazine all right all right all right youtube fam here is the bolt thrower in all its glory. All right, what should we do next? You should, I'm gonna open this up. That's where the bolts go. And I got a speed loader for, for this just because you know you wanna be quick about shooting uh, zealots or infected uh, or plagas, you know, in general. You know, you should be able to do that. Um, all 
All right, so let's figure this out. Let's figure out how to use the speed loader. There it is, I think. I feel like there's a better way that I'm not doing this correctly, but like that. That seems very ineffective. Okay, I'm doing it wrong, clearly. Let's do it from the other side. Okay, I guess that was it. Wow, okay, now it's, uh, it's fully loaded. Interesting, huh, what do you know? Ladies and gentlemen, we, ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves. We got ourselves a Resident Evil 4 bolt thrower. Stay tuned for the shooting video of this that we're, we're going to try it out. Should we do a quick one? Just a really quick... Uh, um, Try it out outside of my backyard. <laughs> outside, not here, not in here. Is, is that not allowed here? No? I have logs out in the back. I think maybe that's more of a YouTube thing. Okay. All right. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, stay tuned on YouTube, I guess. Because uh, I think Twitch is definitely um, a little bit against uh, this sort of stuff. <laughs> uh, anything that launches or projectiles across. This isn't really considered a, a firearm. So at least in Canada, you're able to uh, purchase this. I think you just have to be like 19 or older. But just in case, we're not going to shoot it today, right now. Um, I think it's also more suitable to do that with a better camera and uh, maybe in a, in a nicer day, we'll get some, uh, some nice targets and we'll put it on YouTube, not Twitch. How does that sound? Are you guys down for that? I think it'd be a cool video. We can test this out on uh, wood, wooden, uh, wooden shields. Just planks of wood. We can make something about it, about it. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, I can't wait. As soon as, you know, you know what's going to happen as soon as we, we say goodbye here. Uh, I'm going straight to, um, to test this bad boy out uh, on a log or something. But, um, ah. Uh, I kind of also want to put a red dot on it and maybe uh, just m wait until uh, we could do it together uh, on YouTube rather than on here. Um, I also have the tactical sling. Hold on. Hold on.
Oh, that is really cool. Interesting. I have no idea how this works. This is very intimidating to me. Oh, wait a minute. What the heck? How? All right. And the worst part is that there's no instructions. There's zero instructions to this. What in the world? Okay. <laughs> God, I love this. All right. I am going to see set up. All right, so to set this up, I have to actually unscrew this. Isn't that crazy? Cool. There we go. Oh, this goes... if I can set it up. All right, I'm going to look into it. I will look into it, and hopefully I can have it set up by, uh, by the video, and then we can uh, go, uh, go all out on some targets. Um, so, yeah, I grew up in a place where... Um, all my life, I guess, where um, hunting has been a big thing. I don't hunt myself. I don't. I don't hunt. I don't need to. But um, family members and um, my loved ones have and do, and uh, I don't. You know, to each their own. But right now, I'm just not gonna cock it back anymore, right here, because it is. It does have the bolts inside. So uh, just to be safe, we can't do that here. But um, stay tuned for the next stream, which we covered a lot of stuff today, didn't we, people? Jeez. It was a, it was a hefty stream today. Yeah, a whole bunch of cup noodles and a bolt thrower. What do you know? It's insane. This is crazy. I'm crazy. 
You're all crazy for still being here after uh, two and a half hours or three hours. Oh, my goodness. All right. Stay tuned for YouTube. I'm going to have all of the different uh, unboxings there as well, testing out the different types of uh, also for this, the shooting of, of, you know, the bolt thrower, testing it out with broadheads and uh, regular um, regular pencil rounds. Unfortunately, I don't have the explosive ammo here with me. I don't think I will have it. Um, but, you know, um, hopefully it was a good stream. Hopefully y'all had fun. Uh, as much fun as I did. I want to thank you all personally. And, uh, you know, I want to say um, thank you for taking the time to um, to send me stuff. I really, I really, I really do enjoy it and I do love it. And thank you so much for the beautiful letter for this beautiful crystal. Um, wow, like this is going to be really cool because uh i do believe in that stuff this um the crystal pyramid and uh although it wasn't sponsored by them thank you tenda for uh the bolt thrower and uh mark thank you for mini me <laughs> it looks badass i love it ah oh, okay thank you so much for joining me today ladies and gentlemen i don't know um i kind of don't want to say goodbye to you i don't want to let you guys go but at the same time i'm not sure what else uh what else to do with all you here um so i have a whole bunch of stuff to do i have to clean up all of this mess this is crazy Next up, though, next up, I want to try some emergency MRE foods with uh, my partner, so stay tuned for that. This should be fun. Uh, is anybody ever uh, curious about canned food that shouldn't be canned? I'm all up for that. I love, <laughs> I love doing that stuff, so um, I have a couple. I have one that is... Uh, biscuits and gravy and then my partner picked something else um, I can't remember exactly what it was but it's dry freezed and it's MRE and it's good for like 25 years we're gonna try that and the other one was canned tamales like tamales I don't know if you guys know what tamales are but you know what hold on I'm gonna show you So, we went, as you know, we went to Portland, Oregon, and um, I was like, you know, well, while I'm here in the United States, I want to get, a, you know, a couple products, Mexican products that we can't really find over in Canada. So, I got this. Hold on. Tamales. Beef tamales. What is this? And uh, <clears throat> and this Chinese style rice in a can. I've never had it. Literally, that's what it looks like, fam. What is this? What is it? What's in the can? What's in the can? 
What's in the can? Oh my gosh. <clears throat> so we got those to look forward to. <clears throat> uh, I kind of want to do the freeze dried food, the biscuits and gravy first. Home style bit, grits and bri biscuits, I think it was. And I think it might have been like um, young. Hopefully this is still working. Just got to. All right. So I never got a chance to, uh, s you know, talk about these. Uh, these new subscribers. Oh, my goodness. OK. <clears throat> Where are we where are we at here? I'm gonna I'm gonna look over here. I have to say thank you to all of you. Two hours ago. Hermes Rose. Her 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 mouse rose. Hopefully I didn't pronounce your name correctly, but welcome to this family where I butch all of your names up. So, thank you. Thank you for the tier one subscription. Thank you so much. And I have a whole bunch of follows, new, new follows as well. Welcome to the channel. Hello, everyone. Like and le le leech. Like and leech. You were watching? We raided you yesterday. And I saw your... Um, thank you for the tier one. Subscribe. Welcome to the family. Welcome to the family, son. And uh, <clears throat> I saw your uh, your store. Check it out. Lycan Leech. Look them up on, um, I think it was Etsy or, or something like that. Look them up on, uh, on socials. Very talented. I kind of want your stuff. It looked really, really cool. That Plaga's vial looked really, really awesome. So look out for that. It's pretty cool. Oh, well, there you go. Streaming again right now. Uh, French fries. Given one tier, tier one sub to Hella Toxic Savvy. Again, I don't know if I should <clears throat> say those names. Maybe just the first one. Um, Hep Betsy. Betsy Hepsy. Thank you for... Um, Tier two for two months. Oh, my God. He says, I, I didn't know that you can actually write stuff. Okay, so the first one, French Fry says, uh, they have given 16 gift subs in the channel. Holy cow. Thank you so much, French Fry. It says, here's to many more uh, adventures with you, Andre. Let's go. And then putting the love emoji and then the love emoji and the love emoji with uh, the Luis Thank you, Betsy. Okay, next one is Subaki. Gifted a gifted two tier one subs. Thank you so much, Subaki. Titty's main. She's here. My lovely, my beautiful. Gifted 10 tier one subs. I love you, my titty's main. That's so awesome. Thank you. We got to eat those MREs. That should be the next stream or next video. All right. We got to do it. Then. Corpsey has subscribed to tier one. Thank you for the subscription. Then Subaki again gifted a tier one sub. To this is Chemi. Thank you so much. And then. Oh, just two minutes ago. French fries has resubscribed tier one for two months, two months streak. Thank you so much, French fries and everybody else. Thank you for joining me today in this very, um, very interesting stream. I've never done this before and hopefully more to come. If y'all want to send me stuff, do it. I'm going to open them up on stream and, you know, read them out loud if you'd like. And if you, if, if you don't, you know. Let me know. Maybe put it on the whatever you're sending me so that I don't read it out loud. But I'll try to, you know, interact with you and um, make it a family event just like this. Everybody can uh, 
come and we can all uh, open up these uh, gifts together. Uh, we, we can do it uh, a thing. And also, if you want to send me snacks like Co, that's going to be a whole other video. Uh, just trying all of those snackies. I'm going to feel like crap afterwards, like absolute crap. But I can't wait. I can't wait to test them. I can't wait to try them. And um, I'm probably going to need help with that, Co. So, yeah, I'm probably going to be calling you uh, throughout in the middle of, of the stream or the video or whatever I, we decide to do. A lot of stuff. And, of course, testing this out. That should definitely come be coming up as well. As well, look out for my Mexico trip on YouTube. I need to uh, get editing on that as well as, uh, I guess, all this behind-the-scenes stuff. Uh, here, I'm going to try to split it up for YouTube and uh, make some more youtube -y videos. Um, all right, so, fami, familia mia. Um, let's see if Lycan Leech is around again. Oh, by the way, Lycan, Lycan Leech uh, on Etsy is Oddities of Avalon. Oof. Really good stuff. Oddities of Avalon. Um, now I have to go to tweet. Here, go home, look up. Oh, oh boy. Hold on. All right. Should we do it again? I really loved her reaction last time. And she's still playing. Uh oh. Hold up. Before we leave, before we go, can we get a whole bunch? of Lucas in the chat. Hello, Luca. Hi, buddy. How you doing, bud? He's like bewildered. He's like, what is happening? What is this? What is going on? Look, dude, you're on, you're on the chat. It's all of the Lucas. Look at that. All right, fam. I think we're going to raid Lycan Leech again, just for kicks. All right, look at Luca looking so majestic. I love you, buddy. All right, off you go. All right, so let's do. All right, I think hopefully it works. Hopefully it did. Uh Hopefully I did her name correctly. Here we go. Ready? And... Oh, no. I did it incorrectly. Okay. Again. All right, I think it's working. Come back anytime. All right. Say goodbye to mini me. Say goodbye to mini me. Peace out fam. I love you. All right, you guys are ready? Stay tuned for all the cool stuff, cool videos coming up. Right, and let's see. 
I think we're good. There she is. This is hilarious.